Fantasy. I got another game in here I'm gonna talk about. This game is called Valis 2. Hey, look at that chick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she looks kinda evil. Woo, chick's fighting. Cat fight, cat fight. Oh crap. Oh shit, what happened? Oh no. One sees a mud wrestle, not some decapitations. Oh crap. At least the uglier one died. <laughs> and my only friend. Oh crap. You killed her. Nice going. Thank you. Rango! Alright, so if you don't know who these chits are, in the original game Ballas won. Uh yeah, she killed her because she was aligned with the evil dude. Uh oh, but now there's a new evil dude. Emperor's Megas. And he's has a whole bunch of minions by his side. And we gotta stop him. Because apparently he's a new bad guy in this game. Yep. Yeah. In nineteen ninety, that looked kinda cool. Yeah. <laughs> Valus 2. Yep, that's how you pronounce it. Valus 2. Could it be the Rogueless? Rogueless. Okay, that was the past ending. That's Reiko's voice. I wonder if something's happened to Akakaji. Wait, did she kill her? There's no time to waste. That young woman single handedly brought down the Rogueless King. Is it possible that a mere woman? Now has the sword of Varus in her possession? Varus? What the hell is sword of Varus? Even with the massive powers at our disposal, it will probably be impossible to defeat her. <laughs> She's a schoolgirl. Find some way to capture the sword of Varus. Phallus. Asshole. <laughs> okay, hurry up, come on. Yep. So that chick, Yoko, has the Sword of Ballas. Not Varus, but Ballas. <laughs> okay, so if you don't know these Ballas games, they're action games, you're playing schoolgirls, and you chop up monsters and stuff. Just like every other Japanese game. Yeah, and this is the first time ever a Ballas game ever came out in North America here. It's weird, we're actually playing a sequel, even though, yeah. <laughs> This is the first time ever we in North America here were ever introduced to this fellow series. And I gotta thank NEC for doing that. Finally getting off their butts and releasing this great series to North America here. But is this a good one to introduce people to the series with? I don't know. <laughs> As you can see the gameplay is pretty rudimentary. It says just swinging your sword all the time. You can just throw fireballs, missiles, and different wave attacks at enemies. So it's kind of like Contra in a sense. Except the controls are definitely not as good. Yeah, she has a little girly jump. Very dainty and... <laughs> it can get you killed. Yeah, the controls definitely take some getting used to. There we go. You can have one side temper invincibility, some mega crush attack, stuff like that. So there is some depth to the gameplay, and you can also power up your different, you know, missiles and wave attacks and all that. There we go. So it's good to get a lot of power ups and save them for the last levels. Even though the first few levels are pretty easy. You see enemy, you kill it, and sometimes you can kill before it even gets on screen. And that's why this <laughs> I don't think this gameplay is very in-depth. But still, you're going to need to save some power-ups for later levels because they just get insane. Level 5, you have to avoid like different spikes that you actually can't shoot. Different lasers in narrow corridors. <laughs> It's just hard as hell. One of the hardest levels I think I ever faced in a video game. I don't know, there's just not a lot of meat on these bones here. 
It's cool that I'm playing as this hot 14, I mean 18 year old girl here. <laughs> but, yeah, you do see her undress a bit, like, she'll be wearing like some very skinty outfits. <laughs> And that's all good. It's cool that there's voice acting in this game. I don't know, pretty fancy backhand state. Even though the uh, dialogue does suck. Sort of ballast or <laughs> barus. And the storyline is... It doesn't make a lot of sense. Like you go to eat cinema, like who are these people? Uh, why are they so bored? <laughs> like. Yeah, they just got some actors off the street and all that. I am the Red Salamander Zaruga, one of Robles' <laughs> 12 generals. Come, Warrior Mari. Let's engage in combat. <laughs> Why have you come to the world of reality? I must have your sword. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's an empower. How can you possibly fight for a mother who abandoned you? I'm fighting for a mother I love. Absolute truth is even more powerful than mere physical force. Vegas. Fighting only brings sadness and pain. What? You're fighting to the death here. <laughs> it's still a good game, like, I don't hate it like too much. There's a lot of action. You know, there's a lot of weapons you can use, some variety at least, but it's a short game. The controls are not the best, especially when you're jumping here. And it's probably my least favorite in the Vow series. <laughs> it's very iffy, I would say. Good music, graphics are alright, but again, nothing special. Again, no Paradox Throne in here. <laughs> I think they ripped that out Dyrus or something. Red Salamander is coming here. All right, come on. Yeah, and this is pretty much it. <laughs> Exciting shit. Oh, that was hard. <laughs> all right, <laughs> let me save you the pain of going through all these cinemas here and all that. Still a good game, though. I give it a 60 out of 100. Believe me, you don't want to watch this cinema. It's friggin' boring. See, look how slutty they are. Where are you? <laughs> Still a good game, but it could have been way better. If you can find cheap, still try. Okay, bye! Nice scoops. <laughs>